So, uh, yeah, I'm Han So Hong, a uh, postdoc at CMSA. So, I'm from Korea. So, I graduated uh, from Seoul National University. So, I did uh, postdocs in Chinese U of Hong Kong for two years, and after that, I moved to Harvard. And then, uh, right now, I'm supported by uh, Simon Collaboration Grants on this program called Homological Mirror Symmetry, which is a subject I'm working on. And, um, the idea of homological mirror symmetry actually uh, came from uh, physics, uh, in particular string theory. So know, I'm a symplectic geometer, um, which studies like various of geometric properties of uh, so-called symplectic manifold. And uh, this symplectic manifold, uh, so the the prototype of this symplectic manifold is so-called uh, phase space in physics, uh, on which you describe the motion of particle in terms of uh, position and momentum. So from here you can already see uh, how closely uh, symplectic geometry is related with physics. And recently we're influenced by um, strong string theory a lot. And uh, string theory predicts that there's a uh, very interesting duality between two different geometries. One of them is of course symplectic geometry and the other is complex geometry of some other space. And then uh, this duality is called uh, mirror symmetry which is what I'm working on, and uh, I'm mainly study, studying symplectic geometry in this aspect, like in association with uh, mirror symmetry. And more specifically, um, I'm looking at certain half-dimensional manifold inside the symplectic manifold and their intersection uh, properties, and uh, you can cook up some nice or powerful symplectic invariant out of this, together with counting uh, so-called holomorphic disks. So uh, in low dimension, for example, in, in the surface, this uh, half-dimensional manifold is simply either circles or just lines or curves there. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, looking at this half-dimensional manifold called Lagrangian inside symplectic manifold and their intersection properties. And then uh, you can cook up some very powerful invariant, symplectic invariants uh, by doing this. And also you have to count the uh, holomorphic disk, uh, which bounds those Lagrangian. Which and in, in, in this uh, simplest case, in, in dimension 2, a uh, symplectic manifold is simply a surface with some genus like this. And Lagrangians are circles, either circles or some curve. And if you have a bunch of them, then you can actually count uh, these polygons, so which are uh, holomorphic uh, disks I mentioned. And then from here, um, you can cook up uh, some mirror, uh, a function, w, and then uh, the interesting thing is here you count all these holomorphic disks. This is kind of symplectic information, and that corresponds to a factorization of this polynomial, or of uh, some function. And then uh, at a glance, these two geometries look completely different. Here you just count some kind of polygons, and here you factorize your function. But uh, what mirror symmetry tells you uh, tells us is these two information should be equivalent through this uh, mirror symmetry, and uh, yeah, this particular type of mirror symmetry is called homological mirror symmetry, which is the subject I'm working on, and uh, yeah, this is quite uh, motivating and interesting in the sense that uh, so this is symplectic side and this is complex side. For example, you can do some. Uh, Known geometry here to discover new things on the other side, or you can, uh, if you can, you want to solve a certain question, answer a certain question on this side, and if it's too difficult to do that, then you can transfer this to the other side and you solve it there and transfer it back to the original side. So uh, in this way, this mirror symmetry gives us a lot of uh, resources, and uh, there are like uh, a lot of evidences uh, for this mirror symmetry conjecture now. But still, uh, there are much more um, spaces whose mirror geometries uh, are, are not known. But uh, hopefully, what I'm doing uh, can provide a good tool, nice tool to explore those unknown words. And yeah, that's my hope.